So two of the biggest names in the industry, Airbus and Boeing, have been churning out planes ever since the start of the 20th century, well for Boeing at least anyways. Both companies combined have produced well over 30,000 aircraft ranging from all of their family that they offer. But one area which neither of these two companies have ventured into is the engine market. Now would it be possible for Airbus and Boeing to build their own engines to power their planes and at the same time reduce the overall cost of the aircraft? Well, the short answer is no and the long answer is as followed. Now to put it very simply, there's absolutely no need for either of these companies to do so. There's a reason why the car manufacturer Nissan doesn't produce their own tyres and why KFC don't run their own farms. By doing everything yourself, you tire yourself out, increase your cost and the overall quality of your product will significantly go down. I mean, just take a look at the McLaren Formula 1 team and you'll get my point. It's better to leave that kind of stuff to the specialists who know exactly what they're doing and can deliver a great product, well apart from Rolls Royce. It also means they won't have to compete with the manufacturers which could lead to allegations of anti-competitive practices. But one of the more subtle reasons is due to the fact that producing an engine is highly complex and a specialised job. Neither companies will want to waste valuable time, effort and considerable amounts of money in trying to train their engineers, purchase necessary equipment and sort out the whole supply chain which can be extremely stressful. The current engine companies have a very large workforce and a comprehensive research and development teams whose sole job is to develop and make engines more efficient. Now you don't have to be a genius to figure out that the production of a plane, from the drawing board all the way to the delivery is a complicated task and everything needs to be executed with precision. By venturing into this market, they'll be adding more food than the plate can handle and everything will start falling apart. Also companies like Rolls Royce have been making engines since 1915 and only 9 years after they were formed, they made some of the most famous engines ever like the Spitfire, the Hurricane and the Lancaster. Their entire business is based on engines and related things like ship engines and also turbines. So you can bet that they have great expertise which neither Boeing or Airbus possess. So we've talked about not producing their own engine due to cost, research and development and training their staff, but how about just buying a company like GE and Rolls Royce? Wouldn't that be a cheaper option and also easier? Well, they could for around 50 to 70 billion dollars, but who has that kind of money lying around? For sure Boeing and Airbus might have that money, but they would rather spend that money on producing a new model of aircraft or making iterations on already successful planes like the 777X and the A320neo family. But a more discreet reason is that those engines would belong entirely to Boeing or Airbus, and international ties has a huge factor. For example, Boeing can sell to European airlines and choose a European engine, saving backlash from airlines who might not like GE or Rolls Royce. Kind of a funny reason I know, but it actually happens in the industry. So at the end of the day, if there was a substantial amount of money to be gained, then aircraft manufacturers would have bought engine companies a long time ago. They don't want to be stressed out, especially in aviation when time is money. So to conclude, Boeing and Airbus will continue to depend on the expertise and experience of engine manufacturers and just focus on what they do best, building and flying planes. So there you go captains, that's the reason why Airbus and Boeing don't produce their own engines. Kind of fascinating I know. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about this and what you might think. Share your opinions in the comments below guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll check you captains very soon.